LPT tell your family, if you die, to let your pet see your dead body. If I die while I have a pet, let my animals see my dead body. Let them see my dead body please. They understand death and seeing me dead will allow them to mourn but if I just never show up one day they'll think I abandoned them. Let my animals see my dead body. I don't have a pet but this whole thread is breaking my heart. Show my dead body to your pets too. Having volunteered in dog rescue for 20 years. The number of surrenders who come in because the owner died and the family doesn't want them. It's sad you can see the confusion in the dog's eyes. What happened? Where's my friend? When my cat passed, we made sure that my dog could see her for a bit so he could understand. He poked her a couple of times for a response. And then stood vigil over her till my ex and I took her. She was old and not friends with him. But I think him seeing that we lost a pack member helped him cope and not look for her. We did this with my grandpa when he died. His dog knew but also went into a deep depression. He would just lay down and cry. He didn't want to eat but then they remembered my grandpa would give him some McDonald's. Cheeseburger as a treat. They went and got him one and he ate some it took a few months of him being depressed but he would still sleep in my grandpa's room and bed until he finally started to feel less sad. Same with pets in a multi-pet family. When one of our two cats was put down due to age we showed the body to the other. She had a slightly shocked reaction so I think she understood he had died. I've decided not to die. I agree with this. I want my family to witness my cat's guilt at having murdered me in cold blood. I agree with this. I had several cockatiels. When my Molly was 20, she got very sick and we had to put her to sleep. Molly was very bonded to my oldest boy. PB he's still with me he is now 25. We took him with us to the vets and they brought her back after birds go into the anesthesia chamber. My PB saw her and started to whistle softly. It was very sweet. He knew she was gone. Gah. I'm crying now. I do believe our pets know. And giving them the opportunity to grieve is important. My lizard wouldn't give her F-U-Q-K. He's a cold-blooded bastard. I had to put one of my cats down. I brought her home in her carrier and left her in the kitchen as I went to the garden to dig her. Grave. My other cat came over and sniffed her then recoiled. Once I had laid her to rest, the other cat came out and sniffed around her grave then sat for a while. They understand. Also if you have to euthanize your pet someday, stay with them until the very end. No one should be alone at the end. Interesting. I hid my cat's adopted sister cat from him when she died of cancer. He subsequently spent weeks looking for her. I felt so awful. It was an innocent mistake. But it caused him so much turmoil. And about three months later, I randomly unpacked something with her scent on it. And he immediately started looking for her again for another week or so. Our afterlife pro tips. It's like the episode of Futurama where his dog waits outside the pizzeria till its death always draws a tear. Just don't let them leave your body with your pets for too long. The key thing with dogs is to not let them wallow in depression. Dogs mimic the energy and emotions of their handlers. If a dog loses a companion and you constantly feel sorry for it while it mourns, it will never get out of its depression. Alternatively, if you move on or at least pretend you have and encourage it to do the same. It will be much easier to get them back to their normal happy selves. Side note. 
if your pet has to be sent over the rainbow bridge due to injury or old age etc. Don't be a fking coward. Be with them in their final moments. Yes. It sucks. Yes. It's gonna hurt your heart almost as much as losing a human family member. But your pet is a part of your whole world. You are your pet's whole world. Hi Op. I really hope that you are planning for this in the distant future. We need you on Earth now. I'm sure this video is still on YouTube somewhere. And I'm sure most people have seen it. This LPT reminds me of the vid of the military funeral where the soldier's family brought his lab. To view the casket. The look and body language of that pup is heartbreaking. Damn it. Who's cutting onions in here? I was not ready for the emotional toll this thread would take from me. I did this for my cat's PK when T died. And then again for P a year later when K died. I'm not sure P entirely understood it the first time there were times in the days that followed. When he still ran out into the living room to look for T at various times. But I do think that P understood it when K died he even took over K's exact spot in bed with me. I can confirm this. My mom died at my home and I asked the nurse if I could get my dog so he could see and sniff her. He came in. Gave her a momentary sniff and then went to his normal gotta say hi to the nurse. Until that day if I said Grammy he'd go looking for her. Now he doesn't react at all when I say it. He definitely knows. I hope my cat doesn't judge me too harshly. I let my dog see my other dog after she died. Maybe he didn't understand but he didn't seem like he noticed. I guess it clicked later for him when he got depressed until we got another dog. I don't think my goldfish will understand. Great. Now I have to explain this to my mother for my cat. My dog refused to walk into my dad's house after he died. I wish we let him the dog see his my dad's body. I can't believe I never thought about this. This is smart and so sad. I hope I outlive all my pets as a parent should. This brought back some really painful memories. In short, I agree. That's a great idea. I wonder how a person would pull it off logistically and legally. Just texted this yo my mam and now she keeps trying to call me. When our Emma crossed the rainbow bridge I regretted not taking Jubert Cat to the vet with us. He searched and searched for Emma for two days was so sad to see him act this way heartbreak. LPT. Maybe DPT is more accurate. I told my partner I want my ashes mixed into my cat's food or let them gnaw on me, but he refuses. Cat sees dead body, thinks when's dinner. Oh boy. That hit too close to home. I had two budgies that shared cage for five six years. They were always very playful and energetic. Every time one of them was making some kind of a mischief you know parrots. They will chew on everything. Climb everything etc. The other one was staying on watch. Unfortunately. One of them has passed away and when I opened their's cage I saw that the other budgie was poking. And rubbing his late friend. After that he was depressed for two years. That enormity of sadness in his behavior got me fucked up really good. Anybody know what I can do if I'm past that point? I didn't do that when my girlfriend died and I've tried to show her cat in ways she's gone like. Showing her urn and saying her name. He knows her name. I cry saying her name and he comes up and sits with me. I hope he doesn't think he was abandoned. I tell him every day she loves him. I didn't want to cry today.